The Point Bonita Lighthouse sits high atop an eroding cliff overlooking the San Francisco Bay. The light glows, three seconds on, one second off, as it's done since the late 1800s. Thousands have come to visit. On a Saturday in the summer, we'll have 1,000, 1,200 people here. Sunday, the same thing. Monday, a little less. A lot of people have heard about it one way or another, or have seen it crossing the bridge. What's that? So they come over here. We came as the sun was setting for a tour only a few dozen people get to see each month. Once a month, at uh, the full moon, we do a walk down with a little talk on the way down. It is a tour that is always booked. It's, it's an amazing sight to watch the sunset to the west, and then you look to the east, here comes the moon. The moon had not yet come when we started on a half mile hike to the lighthouse. From where we stood, we couldn't even see it. But it would be a mistake to not enjoy the journey. Initially built in 1855 and moved to its present location in 1872. Pieces of that world remain. You can notice the train tracks and the, the remnants of a pier. The San Francisco Bay claimed many ships and lives. Those shipwrecks led to funding for the first lighthouse that was built too high. The original lighthouse was up there. The fog here is higher, so the light was shining above the fog. These cliffs tell the stories of sailors and rescues. You can still look down at what's left of an old rescue station. And the tracks would be used to load the rescue boat down. And the men always used to come up with something like, we know we're going out, but we're not sure we're coming back. A little brisk today. The wind made for a brisk walk over a bridge that brought us out towards the water. And the view is spectacular. We work with the Monterey Aquarium. They monitor the wildlife in the water. We've had more whales this year than I've ever seen. Mainly humpback. How far off are they? 10 feet. There's no one out here anymore. The keepers have long since left. And then off to your left, you'll see a house. And that's where the Coast Guard lived. But in the early 90s, they pulled the Coast Guard out, and it's just not fully automated. But even the hillsides tell stories. The lighthouse keepers had to eat, and they grew crops. So they've, the seeds have been blowing around, so you have cabbage, and you have tomatoes mixed in with some poison oak. Halfway through our walk, we still couldn't see the lighthouse, and visitors won't, unless they get through this metal door shrouded in algae that guards a tunnel. Now, there wasn't always a tunnel. It used to be a walkway. But like everything else, erosion took the walkway out. How so in the, was the in the beginning of the 20th century. It's locked and off limits at night, unless you're with a ranger. So now we're going to go through the tunnel. Watch your heads. So tell me about this tunnel. It's very cool. Well, this tunnel was uh, hand dug by laborers. What year? In the early 1900s. Does anyone freak out in there? Some people get a little nervous. Some people see the tunnel, they'll turn around and walk back. They won't uh, go through it. They do get a little scared. But if you brave those fears, the reward is on the other side. This is the first spot you can see it. And around the bend. We emerged as day began to fade and night crept towards us. And that light called us closer. And yet the journey wasn't done. Two more bridges over ground that is slipping away stood before us. This bridge has been redone. This was again a path and then it was steel reinforced. It's all erosion. The story yeah. is erosion. The story is erosion like, like so many things. And a warning, the suspension bridge that finally gets you to the lighthouse moves. So as we cross the bridge, the bridge, if you look at it, is a model of the Golden Gate. The more people on it, the more the bridge would tend to move. Uh, we've clocked winds here better than uh, 50 miles an hour. Sometimes in high winds, they shut that bridge down, but that is not the only thing that might make you pause. They always tell you, don't look down, right? <laughs> look straight ahead. I already looked down. You didn't oh. tell me. Oh, okay. Well, it's not so bad here. It's not so bad. And it does get slippery because of the mist, the dew, and the sand and the dirt coming on here. Then, just like that, you are standing in the shrinking shadow of the lighthouse with the water all around you and the light growing brighter. Our tour ended inside that lighthouse, where we were reminded that this was about more than just a light. It's about what that light meant right to here. the ships who came in times of peace Even and in war. So the story of safe harbor for our ships coming back. The immigrants seeking that American dream. And we didn't have a Statue of Liberty, but we had the lighthouse. It is the light of Point Bonita that they all saw first. Three seconds on, one second off.